The meeting today is indeed very timely. It represents a major milestone in our crossroads to a new and enlarged phase of the Young Arab Voice program supported by the Annalyn Foundation and Bridge Council. The first step we are taking in this journey is to analyze deeper what has been the impact and the lessons learned in the last four years of Young Arab Voices and to understand further where the young protagonists at the forefront of this flagship debate program want to take this journey. The journey to a new phase of Young Arab Voices is also happening at a critical moment in the region. In, face, in the face of significant challenges affecting societies to both shores of the Mediterranean, whether it is the refugee crisis, the issue of climate change, youth unemployment, or the rising negative trends of extremism, radicalization, and xenophobia. It is for this reason that we are delighted also to inform you that the British Foreign Office has taken the decision to back the Aladdin Foundation and British Council in investing in equipping the Young Arab Voices alumni with a level of advanced communication skills and tools. These days, young people are often talked about as though they're a problem. The fact that 40% of Tunisia's population is below the age of 24 is often talked about as a problem. But in fact, it's not a problem at all. It's a massive, massive opportunity. Uh, and the young people of this country are a huge resource and a huge opportunity for Tunisia to become a world leader. Um, and, uh, and through uh, the work that I do at the British Council, I have been honoured to meet many, many inspirational young people. And several of you are in the room uh, here today. And so I urge you and, and congratulate you on the work that you are doing. And I urge you to keep doing that because you are making the future of your country. Um, the Young Arab Voices Phase 1, which has just come to an end, was launched in Tunisia in 2011. Since then, 900 debates have taken place on issues that matter, a range of issues, and they've reached more than 10,000 young people. There's a network now that consists of 17 trainers, 45 coordinators, and they're running 23 debate clubs in schools all over the country, in schools, in universities, in NGOs, and in youth centres.